Hey everyone, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, finally, mabibigay ko na yung aking full review and to be specific, iPhone 11 Pro Max lang po yung pag-uusapan natin for now. As you can see here on our secondary camera, I have here yung gold and silver color ng iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yung silver guys, yung variant na meron ako, 256GB and then for the gold one, 512GB. Yes, we are on this era wherein every year nag upgrade talaga yung mga phones. Kaya sobrang hirap mamili or to decide if talaga bang dapat mag-upgrade kayo or mag-change kayo from this brand to another brand. And yes, sobrang nakakatawa yung mga memes na lumabas. They are everywhere since lumabas. Actually, hindi pa nga lumalabas yung bagong iPhone 11. Kaliwat ka na na yung mga memes. So, on my table guys, we have the latest iPhones from Apple. Meron tayong apat na pag-uusapan tungkol sa iPhone 11 Pro Max. Sa apat na bagay na yun tayo magpo-focus. Una sa lahat, nasabi ko naman sa previous video natin na yung daily driver na gagamitin ko dito is yung silver na mayroong 256GB of storage. And I chose this color bakit madali siyang turnohan ng kahit na anong case na ilagay ko sa kanya. Especially yung mga ringke cases na pinadala ng ringke Philippines. Sobrang ganda nilang lahat. Buti na lang, silver yung meron ako. It looks it doesn't look like silver to me it looks white kaya parang lahat ng cases na itapon ko sa kanya bagay na bagay so yung mga ringki cases na ginamit or yung pinadala nila i mean talaga lahat ng gagamit ko sila sobrang nagustuhan ko yung frosted matte finish niya sa likod although medyo madulas nga lang siya compared to the iPhone 11 kasi yung glossy yon guys medyo mas may grip tayo doon pero since ako nga yung tipo ng tao na laging pasmado laging basa yung kamay i'd rather have this kind of back finish. And also guys, I would like to warn you lang, kung maaalala nyo, may biro tayo nung bandang umpisa nung previous video ko. I'll be flashing the short clip here nung sinuwipe ko yung mga phones together. Nagasgasan lahat. As in, sobrang Huh! Nagulat ako nung nakita ko kasi walang screen protector yon As in, bare screen yon guys. Nalulungkot lang ako kasi sobrang bilis niya magasgasan. Pero I think it's not because of the screen. Pero kasi yung camera na meron sa likod, yung iPhone 11, meron siyang silver border dun sa pinaka camera niya guys. It's like a stainless steel na kapag tumama siya sa screen ng phone nyo, patay na kayo, lalo na ako walang screen protector. Kaya after kong i-film yun guys, dali-dali pumunta ako ng mall para magpalagay ng screen protector kahit wala pang available. So, ayun, suggestion lang, huwag nyo ipapatan yung iPhone 11 or yung iPhone 11 Pro Max nyo sa isa pang smartphone lalo na kung walang screen protector. At kung mapapansin nyo, hindi lang basa-basa isang camera bump ang meron tayo. Meron tayong dalawang layer. Yung una, yung pinaka-square nya guys. Another layer yun. Pangalawa, yung pinaka-cameras nya, yung tatlong camera na meron tayo dito. Another layer yun. So, expect nyo na nakapag pinato nyo siya sa isang flat surface. At kapag ginalaw nyo siya sa pinaka-top left nya, gagalaw talaga siya. And according to Apple, yung glass na meron yung iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max is the toughest or the strongest glass na meron sa lahat na smartphones. I don't know how to prove that guys. Hindi naman nila sinabi ko anong klaseng glass yung meron tong iPhone 11 Pro Max or the iPhone 11 Pro. And I don't want to risk doing a drop test unless may magsasponsor ng phone nila. <laughs> Pero for now, hindi ko pa kayang gawin yun guys. Sorry. And ito pa guys, alam ko gas gas to. Sinabi na to ng mga tech YouTubers. Glass is glass and glass breaks. I won't risk my new phone nang hindi lalagyan ng so, I would rather put my Rinka cases here. Kisa bear. Although, napakaganda niya. Now, for the display, meron po siyang Super Retina XDR OLED display. In parehas na parehas lang sila, guys. So, kung pagtatabihin natin sila, medyo mahihirapan kayo to figure out which is the iPhone 11 Pro Max and which is the iPhone XS Max. Also, guys, nagbago na rin yung placement ng kanyang Apple logo. Nasa gitna na siya. Previously, nasa bandang taas siya malapit sa camera. Kung tatanungin niyo ako kung nagustuhan ko ba yung placement ng logo niya na nilipat sa gitna, yes, I really like it. Bakit? It looks really clean. Wala na siyang text or anything. Kamukhang kamukha niya na yung mga MacBook Pro. According to Apple, nag-improve na rin daw yung kanyang Face ID. It's 30% faster. I don't really see na 30% faster yung iPhone 11 Pro Max with the iPhone XS Max. Probably like 10% lang. Ewan ko, hindi ko rin alam kung paano na may measure yung 30% or what. Pero I can say na hindi ganun kalaki yung pinagkaiba nila. According to Apple, or I'm not sure with this one ha, pero I saw a lot of 
um, articles or reviews na sinasabi nila na kahit nasa ang angle ka, ayan, pause na ako, pasensya na guys, kahit nasa ang angle ka, like for example, ito yung phone mo, nandito ka, you'll be able to unlock the device, or kaya naman, nandito yung device mo, tapos, sisingit ka lang ng konti, you'll be able to unlock your device. Hindi. Hindi pa totoo yun. And also guys, the buttons, alam ko, hindi niya ito napansin, pero yung kanya mga buttons, volume rockers, and the power and lock button, medyo bumaba po siya. Medyo bumaba yung placement niya ng konting-konti lang compared to the previous iPhone XS Max. Anyway, additional information, iPhone 11 Pro Max, water resistant pa rin po siya, IP68 certified. Also guys, ito pa po yung napansin ko, mas mabigat na yung iPhone 11 Pro Max compared to the iPhone XS Max from last year. iPhone 11 Pro Max is 20 grams heavier from the iPhone XS Max. And ito pa guys, hindi ko ito napansin actually, pero mas makapal din yung iPhone 11 Pro Max compared to the iPhone XS Max. And I think that is because of the battery. Ayan, nasa battery na tayo guys. Pag-uusapan na natin yung kanyang battery life. Kung babalikan nyo guys yung Apple's keynote from the past, ito akin lang pa guys at napansin ko, never pong nag-show up yung battery specs sa kanilang slide na pinapakita. And also, not even on their website. Right now, guys, may kita nyo na sa website nila yung battery specs ng mga bagong iPhones. With my 3 days of using the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I did really notice a very significant change from the iPhone XS Max, guys. Previously, sobrang bilis, sobrang bilis kong malobat. Like, dalawang beses ko pang kailangan mag-charge in a day. Now, guys, meron na tayong 5 hours more battery life from the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is a really good change from last year. And sadly, I know guys, I'm also disappointed we don't get to have the USB-C port. Pero I really have a huge feeling, mga 90% na next year, yung 2020 iPhone, naka-USB-C na talaga. Finally, we get to have an 18-watt fast charging USB-C and lightning cable. And also, I got a few questions from you guys. May mga nag-chat at nagtatanong, gaano ka daw katagal sinacharge yung iPhone 11 Pro Max? Usually guys, kapag straight, kailangan ko siyang i-charge nang hindi ko ginagamit. 2 hours lang, kayang-kaya siya. Pero kapag sinacharge ko siya while I'm using it, 2 hours and 30 minutes. Next that we will be talking about is the new A13 Bionic chip. A13 Bionic chip guys, definitely an upgrade from last year na merong A12 Bionic chip lang yung previous iPhones. Whenever I use my phone guys, ito specifically the iPhone 11 Pro Max, for the past 3 days, lagi akong full brightness at bihira pa akong mag-close ng mga open apps. So ayun guys, I get a full day of battery life. Usually, ito yung routine ko. I wake up at 9am at natutulog ako for around 1am to 2am. Imagine nyo yung guys, lagpas pa ng I think 12 hours. Lagpas 12 hours yun. Hindi ako magaling sa math. Okay. So, ayun guys. It really did improve some people. Yung reason kung ba't ayaw nilang pumili ng iPhone device is because lagi nga silang mabilis malobat. And I think yung mga ibang tao na hindi nga bumibili because of the battery life, may reason na sila para bilhin yung bagong iPhone 11 or the iPhone 11 Pro. And also, we no more longer have the 3D touch. And ngayon, ang tawag na, ang meron siya is haptic touch. I know to some people, hindi nila to alam or it doesn't really matter to them because they don't really use it. Kasi yung ibang tao guys, they don't really get to maximize their device. Hindi nila alam yung ibang features. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Pero sayang, kung bibili ka ng isang smartphone na worth 70,000, 80,000, you might as well, you know, maximize niya yung device niya, gamitin niya yung mga bago niya or yung mga features niya like yung meron nga before kung hindi niya man alam yung 3D Touch. Yung 3D Touch kasi guys, it's more of a hardware-based feature kaya siguro mas responsive siya. But for the haptic touch guys, I think magkakaroon pa rin naman siya ng future iOS updates or versions at pwedeng magkaroon ng new features kahit na hindi pa nagre-release ng new phones. Next natin yung pag-uusapan guys, the cameras. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa 3 rear cameras niya, pag-usapan muna natin yung kanyang front-facing camera. Yung front-facing camera po ng iPhone 11 Pro Max, it did upgrade from last year's iPhone XS Max. Technically guys, iPhone 11 Pro Max, meron siyang 12 megapixels front-facing camera. 
Pero, how it actually works is, kapag naka-standard selfie mode po kasi kayo, those are 7 megapixels shot. Tapos kapag ginamit nyo naman yung kanyang wide angle, that takes the full advantage of the 12 megapixels sensor. Actually guys, when you flip your phone from portrait to landscape, it will automatically switch to wide angle, which is sobrang cool guys. Pero guys, pwede nyo rin tong gawin kahit na naka-portrait orientation kayo by simply tapping those arrows. Yung arrows na nasa gitna, sa bantang baba. So, let's go sa kanyang portrait mode. Ito guys, may bago sa kanya, but I think it's because of the iOS 13. If I remember sa mga bagong features ng iOS 13 from before. Ito yung ability to be able to adjust yung blur nyo sa likod kapag nagpo-portrait mode kayo. But also, the intensity of the portrait lighting. At yung bago pa na meron sa kanya guys, is yung tinatawag nating high key mono. Ito pa guys, something new with the iPhone 11 series. We get to have a slow-mo video using the front-facing camera guys ha. And Apple actually calls it slow fee. And I don't know what to feel about it. Hindi ko alam kung gusto ko siya or what. Pero I'll probably use that term for the following days. It shoots up to 120 frames per second at 1080p. Also guys, another upgrade also for the front-facing camera. We now have a 4K video recording. Now for the triple rear cameras. We have your 12 megapixel standard wide angle lens or 26 millimeter equivalent. Here we have 12 megapixels ultra wide angle camera or 13 millimeter equivalent. And lastly guys, what separates iPhone 11 Pro Max from the iPhone 11 is the 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 52 millimeter equivalent. I know guys, Huawei, Xiaomi, or even Samsung nagawa na nila lahat to. Pero kasi guys, when it comes to Apple, they don't really care or it doesn't really matter to them kung malate sila sa paglabas ng bagong feature. For as long as kahit na malate sila, I know they're gonna do it right. Actually guys, having an ultra wide angle lens, it's more useful than having a telephoto lens. That's why guys, every time may nagtatanong sa akin, what should they get? The iPhone 11 ba or the iPhone 11 Pro Max? It's not really a huge difference para doon sa isa pang lens na nawala with the iPhone 11. Pero guys, I would say that yung performance ng telephoto lens ng iPhone 11 Pro Max is definitely much better, mas okay siya compared to the iPhone XS Max. What I really like guys is when you go from ultra wide to wide and to telephoto, sobrang consistent niya. Camera performance and yung kanyang dynamic range, nagbago talaga. Now for the video guys, we can shoot up to 4K video recording at 60 frames per second. Although hindi naman ito masyadong bago. Yeah, pero yung bago is being able to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second with extended dynamic range. For reference guys, this is the 4K video at 60 frames per second shot on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now in terms of video stabilization, ito sobrang natuwa rin ako with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Even without a tripod, without a gimbal sobrang stabilized niya. In terms of stabilization with the wide angle lens and the telephoto lens, which is hardware-based stabilization and what Apple likes to call it cinematic video stabilization or in short, software stabilization. Meron akong a few sample videos dito na pwedeng ipakita sa inyo. It's like I'm using a gimbal even na wala. So this is how the wide angle lens looks like. And ito naman guys, yung ultra wide. And the telephoto lens. Hi! With the ultra wide angle lens guys, wala tayong OIS pero nung ginamit ko siya, Stabilized rin naman siya pero hindi kasing stabilized nung ginamitan natin ng wide and ng telephoto. Probably guys, ito yung pinaka-favorite part ko na improvement from the iPhone XS Max to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and even the iPhone 11. Yes guys, may night mode kayo with the iPhone 11. Yung unang beses na na-inlove ako sa night mode is doon kay Huawei P30 Pro. And now, nagbago na yun guys. I am now in love with the night mode ng iPhone 11 Pro Max. Bakit? It automatically engages once na nararamdaman niya na walang enough light. Diba guys, sobrang smart ng night mode niya and if lalagyan nga siya ng term ng Apple, they can call it smart night mode since mahilig naman silang magbigay ng term like yung slow fees or slow fee nila. 
Anyway guys, kapag nalaman ng iPhone na stable at steady na yung pagkakalagay or nakatripod nga kayo, you get to have the ability to get even longer exposure times. And kapag wala namang tripod or hindi siya stabilized, I think you get to have 3 or 5 seconds of exposure time. Ang dami kong sample shots na ipapakita sa inyo guys. Yung iba dito, completely madilem talaga, walang ilaw. Pero nakunan pa rin siya ng iPhone 11 Pro Max. So ayun guys, itong night mode na sinasabi ko, kayang-kaya siyang gawin ng iPhone 11. So if you're planning to buy the iPhone 11, may night mode po siya at merong ultra-wide angle lens. Should you really upgrade from your iPhone XS Max and get the iPhone 11 Pro Max? Every year kapag may bagong labas na iPhone, lagi kayong nakasunod, lagi kayong updated, lagi kayong bumibili. And they might as well do it na lang this year kasi sobrang ganda ng camera niya and I really like the changes. Ito talaga yung mga inaabangan ko for the iPhone 11 Pro Max except nga lang nung hindi tayo nagkaroon ng USB Type-C port. If you are this type of person na laging nasa labas, kailangan ng longer battery life, I think you should consider upgrading. Pero kung hindi naman, might as well buy an extra power bank na lang kung kailangan nyo ng extra battery life nga. So, ayun guys, kung tatanungin nyo ako at kung hindi pa naman talaga ako totally nakakapag-upgrade, meron akong dalawang bagay na gustong i-consider. At yun nga yung kanyang cameras and the battery life, which is meron nga yung iPhone 11 Pro Max. Pero ito guys, kung galing kayong iPhone XS Max at gusto nyo bumili ng iPhone 11 lang, yung NAN Pro, para kayong nag-downgrade, especially when it comes sa kanyang display. So, I really suggest, konti na lang naman yung idadagdag nyo with iPhone 11 Pro Max or even the iPhone 11 Pro na lang para medyo mas mababa yung price, then go for it. Pero kung galing kayong iPhone XR at gusto nyo mag-upgrade to iPhone 11 Pro Max or even the iPhone 11 Pro, wag. Wag na. Sayang at medyo malaki yung itadagdag nyo. I suggest go for the iPhone 11. iPhone 11 is actually much cheaper kisa sa iPhone 10 or nung unang lumabas siya. Which is sobrang na, nagulat lahat ng tao, nagulat lahat ng tech reviewers with the price. So if you're not really into having a good display, okay lang sa inyo na walang telephoto lens. Okay na kayo sa night mode, okay na kayo sa ultra wide at maraming variety of colors go get the iPhone 11. Pero kung gusto nyo nga magpaka-pro from the name itself, iPhone 11 Pro at may extra budget naman kayo. But ito lang guys, kung naka-iPhone XS Max kayo, iPhone XS Max is still a good device. Huwag kayo magpadala sa hype and everything kasi lilipas din yan. So kung nagdadalawang isip talaga kayo at medyo 50-50, I suggest Mag-wait na lang kayo for the 2020. I think doon talaga magkakaroon ng malaking significant change. Like having an in-display fingerprint sensor, a USB Type-C port, diba? Nananaginip ako pero sana naman, diba? Sana naman, Apple. So, ayun lang guys. I really hope na nag-enjoy kayo sa ating full year view with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Ang nag-enjoy din ako. Sana nasabi ko lahat ng ni-request nyo doon sa ating unboxing na gusto nyong itakal natin. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you on my next videos. Bye guys!